Hello and happy to see you on our channel again. Today we give you a piece of breaking news from a royal commentator. Meghan Markle and Harry have been dealt a major blow and their marriage is rocky. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been dealt a major blow in their quest to establish a post-royal life, with a royal magazine editor warning that the couple are no longer selling as they used to. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's plummeting popularity in the UK has been analyzed by stunned commentators. Ingrid Seward, the editor-in-chief of Majesty Magazine, spoke to the royally obsessed podcast about the changing perception of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She gave insight into how this affected her own publication's coverage of the former working royals. Ms. Seward told listeners, we stopped having Harry and Meghan on the cover a while ago. It just wasn't selling. The magazine wasn't selling when they were on the cover. Hello Magazine actually told me the same thing. Obviously, there are some beautiful pictures of them. She continued, I would like to have them on the cover, but it just doesn't seem to work. I find that weird and interesting. Ms. Seward pointed to a YouGov poll on royal popularity from the end of October as evidence of the altering views. According to the Royal Favorability Tracker, Harry and Meghan's scores have reached their lowest point to date. Ms. Seward told the podcast, There was a poll conducted in the UK recently, and their popularity has plummeted completely. It was extraordinary, and I think it's because the British people feel that Harry's deserted us, and Meghan is probably the reason he's done so. Rather than saying he wasn't clever, he wasn't great, he got out. She added, the perception is that he was pretty lucky to be where he was in the first place. There aren't too many royal princes around, so why did he have to give it all up? Yet he still seems to be living off his name. That's the reason that all these things have come to them. Host Roberta Fiortiti gave the An American Insight saying, it's interesting because I feel like their popularity here skyrocketed. So it's interesting to see the perception over in the UK. Currently, Prince Harry still living off his name in the US with Meghan Markle amid backlash in the UK. Prince Harry has been accused of taking advantage of his royalty without putting in the hard work by a royal commentator who also explained poll results that show his UK popularity has nosedived. Using YouGov's most recent royal favorability tracker as evidence, royal, royal biographer Ingrid Seward pointed to the Duke of Sussex desertion as the primary reason. She joined royally obsessed podcast hosts Roberto Fiorito and Rachel Bowie to discuss the difference between UK and US perceptions of the former working royals. YouGov revealed at the end of October that Harry and Meghan's favorability scores had reached their lowest point to date. The Duke strongly divides public opinion, with 48% of adults having a positive impression of him and 47 having a negative view. Meghan reportedly evokes a positive response among a third of UK adults, 33%, but nearly six in 10, 59%, have a negative opinion of her. The Duke and Duchess are popular among younger Britons, however, carrying high scores among adults aged 18 to 24. Other royal family members, including the Queen, Prince William, and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, have enjoyed sustained high scores throughout the pandemic. Perhaps the only thing Prince Harry destroyed was his chance of never being divorced and having a successful first marriage. The best thing he did was to step down instead of continuing to thrust that baggage named Rachel Markle in front of a very disgusted British public. Now, unfortunately, Prince Harry continues to thrust that baggage in front of whoever is unfortunate enough to suffer her droning, unintelligent speeches. In the past, Prince Philip was correct when he advised Harry to step out with her, but not to marry her. But unfortunately, the idiot was already smitten. The only solution is to cut them off from the royal family and let them live the life of vacuous celebrity that they so covet 
as Mr. and Mrs. Mountbatten Windsor. Megan's always been terrified of Philip because he can see right through her and her schemes. You have fun with actresses. You don't marry them, is his stated stand, and uh, he knows what he's talking about. I don't blame Philip for just washing his hands of the matter. It's a waste of energy and precious time. And Harry is simply not that important to the firm's survival. If Philip was younger, he would have stopped Harry in his tracks from marrying that narcissistic, entitled, shallow social climber. Unfortunately, he wasn't. And the British royal family just wanted Harry to be happy and didn't realize just how destructive this woman was going to be and how Harry could cooperate with her every step of the way. Recently, a royal expert predicted, is the marriage between Harry and Meghan rocky? Rumors are still circulating that the couple are bound for a breakup. Although there's no clear evidence, some surrounding the royal family believe the couple married too quickly. There are a couple of reasons that these two rushed into marriage. Clearly, there was a deep attraction between Harry and Meghan from day one. No news there. As Meghan explained in a later interview, after a great first date, they said to each other, what are we doing tomorrow? Should we meet again? That second date turned into many more and eventually into a proposal and royal wedding. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry might have hurried the process along because they were both older, wiser, and knew exactly what they wanted. However, there's an undeniably sad statistic in the news that says children of divorced parents are more likely to get divorced themselves. While it's no guarantee that these marriages are doomed, it's worth noting that both Meghan Markle's parents and Prince Harry's parents did not have lasting marriages. Meghan Markle's parents split up when she was just a young child. Meanwhile, we all know the news story of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's disastrous divorce, which has affected Prince Harry in so many ways. On one hand, their parents might inspire Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to fight harder for their marriage because they know how broken homes affect children. However, that may not be enough to save them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship news was recently analyzed by broadcaster and psychotherapist Lukey Beresford. While speaking with OK Magazine, she said that Prince Harry and Markle are on the course of long-term wedded bliss. However, the royal couple will also face some major challenges in their relationship in the future. Beresford stated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex tend to live their life in their own little bubble. Apparently, this news is what will cause issues in their marriage. Relationships are all about compromise, and there's going to come a point when Harry and Meghan will have to reevaluate whether their current situation is still working. We're seeing a mirror of what happened two years ago, Beresford said. In 2018, Meghan gave up her role in Suits and her life in the U.S. to wed Prince Harry. This year, the Duke and Duchess left his family and duty behind to relocate to the U.S. Seismic, life-changing moments often make us reassess our choices. One such trigger would be the loss of a loved one. If someone were to tragically pass away, I'm guessing that's when Harry might question whether he's given up too much, Beresford stated. Ingrid Sewer, author of Prince Philip Revealed, revealed the news that the Queen's husband has been unable to comprehend why Harry, sixth in line to the throne, wanted to leave the royal family. Prince Philip has now walked away from the situation after feeling his advice fell on deaf ears. While Prince Philip was initially fond of Meghan and made a huge effort to be at the couple's wedding, despite having undergone a hip operation weeks before, the Duke harbored doubts about Harry's wife. Seward's book, the first major biography of Philip in over 30 years, reveals the news how he compares Meghan to Wallace Simpson, who triggered the abdication crisis when she married then King Edward VIII in 1937. 
For Philip, whose entire existence has been based on a devotion to doing his duty, it appeared that his grandson had abdicated his for the sake of his marriage to an American divorcee in much the same way as Edward VIII gave up his crown to Mary Wallace Simpson in 1936, Seward wrote. How about you? What do you think of the marriage of Harry and Meghan? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share with your own followers. And as always, subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.